Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, the news media and uh, governmental politicians are getting all over this uh, bi-gender bathroom situation. And uh, I thought I'd just give you my two cents worth about it, you know. Uh, the news media, see, the uh, thing is, uh, semen in news, uh, they're probably the worst one, I don't know. Uh, could be Fox's worst, too. I, uh, hell, they're all bad. But anyways, uh, they just uh, love to promote anything that has to do with sex. Sex, sex, sex. See, because sex sells, that's why. They don't give a damn whether it hurts somebody or not. They just want to do it. And uh, so... Uh, they got to get their ratings up, you know, and so they want to talk about stuff like bi-gender and LBDJs and all that kind of stuff and homosexuals and and uh, bisexuals and, oh, God, there's so many damn sexuals now. I don't know how to even keep up with them. I mean, when I was coming up and becoming a young man, there wasn't but a couple of things you had to figure out. It was either you was a man or you was a woman. If you had uh, sexual organs on the external, you was a man. If you had the sexual organs on the internal, you was a woman. I mean, it was pretty simple back then. But nowadays, they got all kinds of this gender stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, I can't uh, say one way or the other whether it's right or wrong. I'm, uh, I know what I am. And uh, so... Uh, I, I don't want to fault nobody else if uh, they are to buy genders or whatever. So anyhow, here's the deal. Uh, so uh, uh, the news media is exploiting it. And of course, anytime the news media exploits something or other like that, then uh, governmental politicians, they want to get in on it and they want to exploit it too. So they say, oh, we're going to go pass a law. We're going to fix it. And uh, depending on what their philosophy is, uh, Republican or Democrat, they decide they're going to fix this situation, and they go pass some stupid-ass law that don't need to be passed. And so that's what North Carolina does. North Carolina is one of them states that it's a Republican state, and uh, they're full of hate. Uh, well, I, I say not everybody in North Carolina. don't want to offend none of my viewers. But uh, anyhow, they pass a law that says you can't go into the bathroom uh a man's bathroom unless you're an external and a woman's bathroom unless you're an internal. See, that's what they pretty much said. And they passed the law. And then, of course, the semen in got on it, and uh, which is right for them to report it, I reckon. And so uh, then they went around to ask all the politicians, well, what do you think about this? Do you think about the bi-gender, this one, and this one, and that? And, of course, Trump, he told him, he said, I don't care who goes in the bathroom. It don't matter to me. Uh, and I... Uh, I'm not a Trump fan, I'll be the first to tell you, but at least he's got enough common sense to tell you that. So, uh, okay, so here's my uh, take on the situation. Uh, it's another one of them things that politicians are just sticking their nose in our business and need to get the hell out of it. It don't matter. You, right now, there's a bi-gender man dressed as a woman going in a, a woman's bathroom, going to the bathroom, and you don't even know it. And the same thing about a, a woman man going over in the man's bathroom, you don't even know it unless, well, I got to throw a little humor in here, unless uh, the, the, the woman man's trying to stand up at the urinal, uh, you wouldn't have no idea one way or the other. So, uh, you know, the whole thing is stupid. Like most stuff that's done up in Washington, instead of finding jobs for somebody and stuff like that, they're going to find it to tell you who can go in the bathroom. And you know, I want to just ask the old politicians one thing or another. How the hell are you going to enforce that? Oh, well, you're going to have somebody standing at the door of the bathrooms now. And, well, we do need to have more jobs. But anyway, you going to get somebody to stand at the door of the bathroom and frisk everybody when they go in to find out whether or not they got a package down there or not? That's just plain ass crazy. There ain't no way in the hell you can enforce the law you pass, you stupid sons of bitches. Well, that's it for me. Jim Bob's out.